Jim Davis securing yet another victory here. <laughs> Out of the way, boys. Not a problem. Jim's in town. All right. What's up, my friends? Welcome. The world's prep continues, and the Japanese decks are finally done. Um, I feel bad about it because, like, the last batch of Japanese decks were so good from that big tournament, but last four decks have not been super great, unfortunately. Good ideas, a bad list, but we're moving on to uh, Magic Online lists. So, lists that are playing in challenges. There really only are a few sources of deck lists for Standard right now because uh, there are so few paper events, there are no SCG Opens, there are no Grand Prix or whatever. So, it's mostly just the Magic Online lists. And the weekly challenges are the best fought for those. So this deck won a challenge last weekend in the hand of Gracias Port Portonado. Uh, went eight and one overall in the event. Mono white token control, mostly mono white. Uh, obviously, Caretaker's talent's great, right? Really, really powerful card. Was a huge player in the last format. And then adding on from uh, from Duskmore, we get Enduring Innocence. Awesome card. Great card draw engine alongside of Caretaker's talent, which is great. And then honestly, not too much else. This is mostly just um, a lot of the old cards. Four Bessa. This deck is here to beat the crap out of your uh, out of your aggro deck, all right? And uh, Loran, Evangelist, uh, Archangel, Solp, Artition. Interesting removal spell here, kind of like an unsummon. And then four Laid on Arms is pretty great, too. Four Fountain Port, a couple Citadels, Sunfalls, you get the idea. And then Sideboard has uh, a little extra gas in side, in the, for uh, aggro decks in Smite. Imidane's here of Sideboard look a little weird, but seem very good against uh, decks like Domain, or control, where you need to kind of like get over that big sweeper when the game all one shot, which is kind of cool too. But um, that's the deck. So let's give it a spin and try and start winning here as we prep for worlds. And uh, let's go. Brought to you by Ultimate Guard. All right. My one stream next week is going to be on the Ultimate Guard channel, and I'll be doing a collection sorting stream. All right. So I'm going to be going through my collection, uh, updating my standard binder, rotating out the old sets. Updating from my old binders to my new Ultimate Guard binders, which is great. And uh, going through my Ultimate Guard stuff and everything else. It'll be a lot of fun. Ultimate Guard's phenomenal, obviously. I'll be at the Ultimate Guard booth in Vegas on Sunday. Check them out. Ultimate Guard. Buy them wherever fine uh, products are sold on Amazon or wherever else. And check them out. On the play. Chat. Coming out with me. Hand is good. Keep. Carrot cake. Let's do it. Of course, we have my sleeping on my katanas at, the, uh, at Worlds. Ooh, cookies, huh? Maybe Sanctum plus Spire of Siren. Um, carrot cake. I got a scry, right? Oh, it's carrot cake. Carrot cake, revealing an evangelist. Ship that thing. Need more planes for my lay down arms, right? More planes, please. All right. Surge engine. Attack for one. You got it. Up and draw a Beza. All right, so pretty awkward draw to start, obviously. Uh, double Fountain Porch. I mean, this will be uh, unblockable. Unblockable 3 2. Attacking's bad 2, though, so let's say go. We have the option to Soul Partition the or Engine if they spend a mana on it, or we could just select the Carrot Cake. Don't you think the aggro predominance is a bit silly? Aggro always does well early in formats because it's easy, easy the, uh, the, uh, the easiest decks to build, so. Here's Tough Cookie. Thankfully, Spell Pierce is not legal. Le legal. All right, so they're going to do that. We'll just Soul Burnish in this. Sort of like an Unsummon with Upside. It costs four mana now, so that's fine. They get in for one. And then we might actually... God damn it. You saw me hit the stop, right? So on Arena, uh, if they finish their turn, and it hasn't ended yet, but all the actions are done, and the animations are still going... As far as Arena is concerned, their turn is done. So even though I hit it there while our turn was ending, there were no more actions to be taken in the turn. Therefore, Arena says they were done. So I wanted to upkeep, sack my carrot cake, look for a planes, uh, which sucks. Um, so we have laid on arms. We can't really cast. We have Evangelist. Uh, carrot cake, scry for a land is a possibility. Also, you know what? We'll just lay it out. I'm just going to do this. We're gonna lay our arms to the siren. We'll just say go. We'll uh, plan on making a token, maybe double blocking, and we'll just do that. Kind of sucks, but whatever. It is what it is. They got a glyph. That changes the math a little bit too. Lay our arms is good against glyph though. All right, so they attack. So let's sack the cake. See if, see if we have a land on top. We do not. So now there's no guarantee we're drawing a land.
Alright, so we draw a get lost. So we still cannot draw land. Uh, the glyph is whenever it goes to the graveyard, so get lost in the glyph is not great. Just play a vandalist here, I guess, and just take a shot. I just block, too. I'm gonna buy time. Get to Bethesda in Sunfall. This one sucks, but. Enchantment rule in the main deck is certainly reasonable in this format. Here is Agatha's Soul Cauldron and a two mana surge engine. Sure. I'm going to block with the bat, I think. We draw planes. We did it! We drew planes! Um, Beza not great here. We aren't that behind on stuff. Play land. I mean, like, we could just, uh... Just lay down arms the Surge Engine and just get lost the token. Just kind of keep fighting. That's fine, honestly. Sure, lay down this. Soul Cauldron's got the cookie guy in the bin. Given that maps kind of sucks, obviously, but whatever. Are we blocking? That's not blocking, right? Let's tech. Battle cry! Doo -doo! We're lacking engines right now, uh, but they're gonna cauldron. They're gonna target this. Okay. Um, we'll just kill this now, so they can't have the abilities and possibly animate a map. That's bad, actually, they have, sorry, they have Glyph, never mind, stupid. They're gonna get Discover, so. All right, so put a counter on, that's fine. Um, might have been better to upkeep the Get Lost, so they have less info on the cards they're drawing, but here's Ginger Brute. They're gonna explore on the old Brutski. Sentinel of the Nameless City, sure. This is all pretty fine, I think. No blocks. Get lost of food. Yep. So many maps. And they're gonna have monsters emerges to kill the evangelist. That's kind of a weird play, right? Like, we draw carrot cake. That's cool. So we'll have our cake, make some blocks, try and draw a land here. Um, get a scry going. We got Beza to turn on also, so. Tough cards get lost, don't want that. Okay. They do have the Mirrors in play, which are kind of annoying, but like. We seem pretty gassed up here. Alright, so. Sack the maps. Another Sentinel. Remember, folks, you're sitting in my name is Jim. I'm a promotion player, full-time content creator. The follow button, like button, support the content. If you're enjoying this World's Prep series, obviously hit the like button to support. Let me know what you think. World Champs is pretty cool, right? All right, it's taking unblockable here. We block with one. Sentinel's a good card. Really is a very good magic card. Better to run Disfigure or Cutdown with Leyline being so prevalent. Why would you want to play Disfigure over Cutdown? They're gonna map again. Sure. Lots of maps. Okay, get the idea. Cashing them all in. Sacrifice the carrot cake. Give me a scry. Give me a land here, please. That's oh talent! Talents like are we really want? Alright, we're gonna keep that. We'll keep a talent to make a blocker. We'll take 
We'll take some damage from a Ginger Brute, but we have Bezza to make it come back, so. Oh, Disfigure reduces the size as in ping? Sure. Uh, I don't know. All right, let's keep this on top. I'm a greedy boy. So. Yes, has talent. And copy that. Yeah, bat, make some blocks. Get the card draw going, which is really important. Very important to get an engine online in this deck and actually make land drops and card draws and stuff, so. Um. Attacking's like. Whatever, just say go. It's one damage. We can make the same play next turn, honestly. Obviously, this gingerbread's getting out of hand, but. They find a vine stalk too. That's not ideal. They're playing other sentinel. Inconceivable! Wow, that's crazy. New sentinels here, and no unblockables either. This is sick for us. This is so good. Please draw land. Draw land. Come on, you can do it. Give me the land. Untap land. I mean, it's no. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's really, really annoying. Son of a bitch. Who put this stupid card in my deck? All right. Um, that's fine. Whatever. It's cool. It's cool. Man, we just like blow them out. Unbelievable. All right. I did clarify. I was specific. All right. Draw two. Alright. <sighs> they have this vine stalk ready to go too. Oh man. Alright, let's take the land. So we block two of these. They can cauldron onto one of them. They have any creatures left? We don't, right? So we take possibly up to six damage if the maps the maps find a land for the mine stock too maybe it's a cookie bin it why cure reset thanks so much we're approaching a thousand subs again y'all are awesome vine stock gets in for five i think we're still like reasonably okay this game Oh, uh, they have Mirix Vine Stock. That's so much more. But they can't do better than Unblockable, so. Our opponent is deranged. Uh, we got a nine. They didn't even Unblockable? There's no Spell Bears in this format. What is going on? Like, we go to nine. Vine stock can't kill us from nine. Didn't make it unblockable, so they missed. Maybe on this one point, I guess. But find another Mirix. We draw land. All right, here's Sunfall. Anyway, here's Wonderwall. Uh, get off my plane. Get a token. Draw a card. We draw Soul Partition Planes. I mean, Beza has some work to do, but Beza's soul partition is a pretty good recovery. All right, Vine Stock in for five. Soul partition is a pretty good game here. I guess they could just like play it again, but all right. They didn't, they can't, this. Here's a Wormlet. So I get no tokens for Beza, but I gain the life. Sure, so you go land, Beza, and I have partition and or incubator up. This is non-land? Oh no! Uh, that's bad. Okay, sure. Well, that's just is what it is, right? What can I do? We have a four four and a four five. 
they can grow the wormlich. Oh shit! I could have, I screwed up. I should have played. I, should, I played land first. For some reason that was dumb. Uh, Whoops! Whoopsie. That's actually pretty bad. Uh, all right, that was that was really bad. We needed that mana really really badly. I just my head hurts. I got like popped in the face like four times at basketball on Tuesday, and I'm like still feeling it. Like like elbow to the nose, elbow to the chin, ball to the face, and then like a shoulder to the face, and I am like still feeling it. Considering not playing tonight. But, I don't know, we'll see. Fire up a map. Map again. Now they're not vine stalking. Alright. That's what basketball you're playing? I mean, let's pick up basketball, you know? Like... Shouldn't be that rough, but it is. All right, so here's the wormlet. I think we just uh, we just sunfall now, right? Um, yeah. I feel like our opponent should have beaten us already. Like I, sure, whatever. Untap. Enduring innocence. We're just gonna attack and sunfall. They don't make any counters, do they? I'm just not going to risk it. Whatever. For freaking Sunfall. Alright, so no token. Draw two cards. And... Get Lost. Carrot Cake. Those are great. Just say go with Get Lost after the Vine Stock. It's fine. Obviously, Caretaker's Talent's very good. I don't need to explain that, do I? Another Vine Stock. Fire up a vine stock. Get off my plane. Yeah. White's got the best card drawn standard, right? What's up, Tannen? Tannen, you me in Vegas? Um. You can Enduring Innocence, Lorian? 25 to 8. Sweet, Tan. Awesome, my friend. Happy, happy to see you. Kill this. Got a 4 4 queued up. Draw a card with the thingy. Yeah, this does feel pretty good. What'd you do there, Tannen? Was it, uh, was it Lorcana, right? How'd it go? Soul Caller number two. Sure. And a Haywire Might. Destroys a non creature artifact or non creature enchantment. So if I were to try and flip this, they could kill it in response, but that's kind of like whatever, I think, so. World is dust born standard and draft. Yep. They're going to explore. All right. I'm going to flip this in response. See if they uh, want to kill it, I guess. Kite sail larcenous is the top card. Okay. Oh, Tan, are you, are you working for Vegas? For the coverage? Sweet. Awesome. Hopefully I'll see you in the feature match area. That would be cool. Moving on up from going 1 and 19 on stream to the feature match area. That'd be a nice jump. That would be a nice jump. All right. Draw planes. I'm not sure my opponent's still playing this game, honestly, but we'll keep, we'll keep this charade up if they want to. Um, they have any creatures in the graveyard? They do have one. They can pump this, I guess. Whatever. Mm, world's in two weeks. Um, all right. I mean, whatever, man. Attacking. Play Beza. 
We're actually ahead of all metrics, so... Ahead on, us, on all metrics, our beds are not very good. Yeah, I, I feel like we should have lost this game, but... Here we are. You know, so... This deck's definitely good. Siggy with the raid back! What's up, Siggy? Siggy, in the intro... I, I, I had Cassie in a cool little intro, and you're in there. Look, you ready? Here it comes. I'll just show up for everyone. Jim Davis securing yet another victory here. Yep, out of the way, boys. There we Jim's are. in town. There we are. You don't follow Siggy, you're dumb. M and M Sigrist 83. Get a shout out in chat, please. My teammate at Worlds in 2022. And uh, my teammate at Pro Tour Charleston in 2006. Siggy's the bomb. He's killing it in uh, Dustmore and Draft. So uh, I'll just go here. Shout out, Reset. Thanks so much. I land for Bezza again. It doesn't matter. This game's already over. Like, I don't know why our opponent's still playing this game. What's up, Beers? Tannen played in that PT, too. Who was your team in that PT, Tannen? PT Charleston, the first three team... The first team constructed uh, PT. Yeah, Siggy, your, your mic was really low when I raided you last time. Uh... Crank that shit up. All right, so I have a Beza token, sure. Here's a Vine stock, sure. Uh, I'm making just like soul partition one of these things. I guess our blocks aren't great here. Maybe I was a little a little out of line by uh, some of my plays, but uh, this is fine. It's block and gain life. Yeah, that's fine. So three three block. Awesome, Mike. Wait, Mike, see, so are, are you coming to Vegas? I feel like I might have asked you that already, but I, I have a headache, so I can't remember. All right, so gain some life. No Vegas. All right, hopefully I'll see you in advance soon, bud, all right? All right, so this is still here. Card draw is happening. 18 and 9. Talents for days. Carrot Cake draws a bunch of cards. Carrot Cake draws three cards next turn. We could fountain port. We could fountain port and sack one of my incubators and draw a card. Hmm. All right. I also get to kill this and get my guy back. Sure. Uh, let's untap. Citadel. All right. So it's no, not that. It's that for Madam. Play carrot cake. But again, if you're tuning in from Siggy's channel, my name is Jim, Pro Magic Player, Folding Content Creator. What's up, welcome. Hit the follow button, support the content, and uh, happy to have you. Plans of Standard, prepping for Worlds. My third Worlds in a row. How did that happen? And uh, bottom of the card, token comes in, draw three cards. These engines, folks, these engines for days. Oh, yeah, get lost. Oh, yeah, Sunfall. Oh, yeah, Soul Partition. Rack them up, folks. Just say go. Can't lose. Four kill spells, can't lose. Third in a row when they get so good. I'm just lucky, man. You know? Oh, this is awesome. Oh, this is great. Oh, this, yeah. No, no, don't do this. Soul partition the map in response to the glyph. Can we please end this game already? What's the red for? Two sideboard Imidane's recruiters. All right, fire of us up. Cool. How about a get lost, huh? Come on now. So you get nothing. You lose. Good day. Bone just wants to keep playing. And just keep playing. And uh, take three in the air, gain three, get it back, draw a bunch of cards. Does take a while to win a game with this deck. I mean, like, the thing is, like, my bones just can see. Like, they just, they just can't actually win, you know? Like, just wasting time on the clock and stuff, but like we're drawing six cards a turn. Like, you know, they are behind on clock also. So draw planes, planes, planes. Okay. And actually what's really cool here, I guess Sunfall, my Beza comes back. Uh, they're tapped out of, uh, of things. Sure, that sounds fun. Let's do that. All right. 
That comes back. Draw some cards. Let's play Archangel Elspeth. And, uh... Let's make it something, I guess. It's also, like, the correct way to play these decks is just, like, not to try and win, typically. You just want to, like, just keep going. So, like, it makes the game go longer. So you're playing correctly is making the game go longer. All right, so go. Six, six coming in. Seven card hand. Bunch of removal spells. Just don't know why our opponent's still playing. I guess we get deck, maybe. We got 21 cards in our deck. These are all mandatory draws, right? So, sure. I guess that's a possibility. Mockingbird, X equals three with nothing in play. Interesting. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank God my stuff, too. Um, that's annoying. Uh... They get a full Beza here. All right, sure. I guess we'll just Sunfall again and attack for six. All right, yeah, that's fine. Map it up. Yeah, this deck is very similar to the Boros deck, yes. Better mana... Maybe a little worse with a forge against some of like the removal heavy decks, but all right. So uh, I think I want to. I think I'm just gonna sunfall again and make a six six and make it an angel. All right, sure. Let's uh, uh, play a land. Yeah, sunfall. The sun has fallen. Cause we're sun. Sun fallen. Well, it could deck me, but I'm not careful, I guess. Now they want to give it up. Okay. That was the turning point of the game, folks. That was it. That was it. That was the point of no return. Okay, so we're going to bring in uh, our Lorans, our Lockdowns. Maybe a Paragon or Smites. I would say the Archangels can go. I would say they're gonna have nice Evangelists can go. Uh, Soul Partition's like not great against them, honestly. Cannon Creature Land. All their cards are very cheap. Uh, Smites is a lot better. And then. Honestly, Boonbringer Valkyrie seems pretty good against them, too. I mean, Paragon's not. I mean, things that they can't kill just seem good. Because, like, they're, they're a blue-green deck, so... Uh, get Lost. Get Lost is also kind of bad against them, honestly. Just giving them maps just sucks. Um, yeah, I'm going to bring in one Boonbringer. Cut two Get Losts. Chat says, Rest in Priest is secretly good against them. Why? Soul Cauldron seems kind of irrelevant. Um, what else does it do? Alright, select white. Pass the turn. Recruiters, like, specifically for, like, domain and, like, stuff like that. Mirrors. One wormy boy! Okay, I would say you're out of here, my friend. Get off my plane. Stops to discover on Zoetic Glyph? That seems really thin. Like... Is it during Essence Overkill on card draw? I don't think so. Uh, speak of the devil. Here's a surge engine. All right, well. Be innocent. That's a, that's a, I don't think I could have made a more obscure reference than that. All right. I want, I want you to guess how obscure that reference was. I just sang a song. What would be the most obscure reference I could possibly make? Like the one that literally nobody would get. They're going to larcenist my guy. That's kind of annoying. Um, didn't draw land either. Hmm. Um, I guess we just Loran here. We could like Beza, but we don't even do that much. Let's hit this and say go. Yeah. Let's draw planes. Kill this thing. We could smite it too, I guess, at some point if we just say go. Tough cookie. What a tough cookie. They have two guards left. 
No one, no one wants to try and guess my super, super obscure, what my, what my super, not what the reference is referencing, obviously, because you wouldn't get it, but like, what could, what could be the most obscure reference I could make? Draw land. Not a planes, but, um, okay. Leaving up smite just seems fine. Just later arms this guy and up smite. It's cool. Something you wrote and didn't leave publicly perform. Again, close, honestly. Uh, so that was the, the chorus to the first song my band ever wrote when I was like 13 in high school. <laughs> like, I, just the deepest of deep cuts, you know? Like, it just, there's probably like a dozen people in the world ever even heard that song before, you know? Like, you try to make an obscure reference, I know people, people will get it, but that was that was a bit much. Attack me, you coward. Oh, yeah, attack me. Right. Ward one? Ship it. Pay the ward. Smite. Smite you down. Repulsive mutation. Woo! All right. Sure. Should I drop Loran here, maybe? I gotta drop Loran. Um... I think that our card is a lot better than theirs, so that's our third planes. Awesome. So or a lockdown. No, it's definitely third planes. So, all right, play parlor. Top card is another smite. You can ship that. We do better than that. And later arms here. I'm short. Okay, the one. And now our innocence is alive again. Attack a both of these. Gain some life. Uh, let's just say go, I guess. Aww. Does feel pretty over at this point, yes. So white deck is really good against creature decks. Not as good against domain and against uh, decks playing kind of tempo counterspell sort of game. Which I just want to say this, our opponent's deck can do. But here's a wormlet. I mean, a cookie, I mean, make some food. Uh, lockdown looking pretty good here. Do both players want to draw again? I think we do. Draw land. Carrot cake. Okay, cool. So, I like the idea of leading a lockdown. If I counter, just play carrot cake, just keep playing. It's kind of cool, so. Lock it down. Well, my opponent wants to keep playing. Uh, I'm winning, so I'll oblige them, I guess. Another land. I think lands are good, actually, with the uh, fountain board in play in the Citadel, so... Draw a card. And say go. Tough cookie. Okay. You know what's turning this game around? A grizzly bear. That's what's turning this game around. The turning point in the game. Alright, so I think we're no longer in a bolt draw. We draw get lost. Okay. Uh, how about Boon Bringer Valkyrie? Will that turn the tide of this game? And uh back up onto Warren? Sure. Back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. My mama taught me good. Backing up the hell out of here. Like, oh my god! Oh my god, my god. A less obscure reference. Uh, Alright, and uh, we have Fountain Port, stack the thing in the turn, draw a card. Bane Slayer Angel. It's my daddy taught me good? Hmm. I think it's my mama taught me good, I think. Maybe I'm wrong, but. It is Dada? My daddy taught me good. Damn. Look at me. Yeah. Really sucks when you have Bez in your hand and you're just so far ahead on every metric that like you can't do anything with it, you know? Alright, so draw a card. And uh scans on tap. Just gonna keep playing this game, I guess. We ain't done yet. Uh sure. Get lost you. You can 
have some mappies. Tap, tap, tappies. Suffering from success. Alright, well, here's a Beza. I draw a card. That's actually pretty sick. Uh, and then play this. And okay. A lot of garbage time with this deck, you know? It's nice to play a deck that's actually good for once, you know? Those last four decks were all pretty rough. So, thanks for powering through with me, you know? But again, like I was saying, like, a lot of what, um, a lot of what testing is all about is, like, it's not about the results. It's about the, what you learn from the, the games, you know? And all four of it actually played pr prior to this had a lot of good things going on. They just weren't there yet, you know? And, like, those things could maybe be used in other places, too. So, all right, here's a glyph. Sure. Fountain ports for days. Mapping up. Sure. Right, well, they hit their spell, so they now Bez doesn't trade anymore. They are at 27 life, and they are at 7 life. Untap and draw. They're flooding a little bit, I guess. Uh, sacrifice carrot cake. This deck is rough against domain, yes. Draw a card. Play Caretaker's Talent. And copy. And draw a card. Also, it's Smite, huh? I smote my enemy down on the mountainside. Is my opponent's chance at winning this game greater than zero? Yes or no? Alex asked that I'm playing. So one of the important things that people mis 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 uh, misconstrue about Pro Magic is that like our decks are already ready to go. We will not know what we're playing for Worlds until a few days before Deck Reg, which is Wednesday before the championship. It's tournaments on Friday. Wednesday at noon is a deck, deck submission deadline. I would be very surprised if we knew a deck we were playing before Sunday or Monday. Um... A lot of preparation goes into this event, obviously. So, you know, this is my, I'm, I'm streaming this week, and then uh, next week I'm, I'm taking the whole week off to prep, and then I fly to Vegas, prep for that whole week, and then play Worlds. So, this is just the beginning of the uh, the road here. All right, they have managed to kill my Baneslayer Angel. Oh, no. Anyway. I bring most of standard, yes. And actually, on uh, this coming Monday... I'll be doing a collection sorting stream on the Ultimate Guard channel, uh, Ultimate Guard Live, and uh, I got a shout out to that, please. And uh, you can hang out with me, watch all my sort my collection and stuff. Two Wednesdays from now. Worlds is in two and a half weeks, and they just want to keep playing. Okay, we're still playing the game, folks. They are dead though. Uh, we're going to get lost. This. Oh, they have a food in play? Oh, they're not dead yet. Oh, they're not dead yet. I thought they were dead. I thought they were dead. They're not dead. Not dead yet. Gain three life to the bitter end. Is standard my favorite format? Uh, I like variety, but right now I would say standard. I would say standard has been the best format in Magic for the last, like, year, probably. It's, a, it's really, it's just phenomenal right now. All right, make a fish. Unfortunately, we just non boat ourselves. With the chapter three of talent going, we'll no longer draw cards off Enduring Innocence. Damn. Waka, we waka. stink. Uh, Could have picked a better spot. All right. Uh, I have a vine stalk too. Oh my god, we can't even win yet. All right, so uh, whatever. Attack. Difference between. Premier and Quick Draft. Quick Draft, you, you draft against other, uh, the computers. It's just seven other players who are bots. So the draft is very, very fast. And you can also stop, take as long as you want. The Premier Drafts are against other players, like a paper draft. Alright, so... Uh, whatever. Let's play... It doesn't matter. It's 44 to 7. Two minutes left in the game. Just to just kneel the damn ball, all right? Can we just please just kneel, kneel the ball and, and kneel this thing over with? Uh, all right, say go. What are major reasons you would dissent from your team's decision at extra choice? So, so the team, so I work with team CFB and friends for tournaments, right? And 
Uh, there are times where we all play the same deck, which is not always, but you know, not and not even everyone, you know, where most of the team plays the same deck. That's how we know we're, we, we're really sure about a deck and we know what we're doing. So for example, and we actually won both those Pro Tours. So both Pioneer Pro Tours, uh, when Reed won in 2023 with the Creativity deck, and then when Seth won last year with the Vampires deck, you know, almost everyone on the team played it. It was great for the tournament. We were all very happy with it. That's the ideal thing that happens. Doesn't always happen. So for Pro Tour OTJ, like, is it the last Pro Tour? Uh, or no, uh, whatever, Modern Horizons. Like, there were 16 of us who played like five different decks because no one had a, there was no clear thing we should do or wanted to do. So I like playing this kind of deck. Reed likes playing that kind of deck, whatever. So we kind of just break off. So uh, it depends, you know, it really, really depends. Nas asks, how do you build a deck if you don't know what other decks will be there? That's the whole point of testing. A lot of a testing process is not just about what deck we are going to play. It's about predicting the metagame and then building the right deck for that tournament. Like, for example, the creativity deck from uh, PT1 of last year uh, in Pioneer, it never, it didn't become like the best Pioneer deck or anything like that, but it was really, really well positioned for that weekend. Like, that weekend, all the decks we expected, the metagame we expected, how everything lined up, how people's sideboard cards were, it was like the best deck for that weekend, which happens sometimes, you know? So, all right, hands keep. Splooter McGavin. Make a little noise here, huh? Betza. They played a green white land, so probably like a domain deck. Just chip that. Or an overlord deck. Spoon him off the tour, Doug. Who's excited for Happy Gilmore 2? I love Happy Gilmore. I freaking hate remakes and like recallbacks and nostalgia movies, so I'm not that excited, but. Alright, so here is a. Uh, an overlord. This is our bad matchup. Um, laid on arms looking pretty bad right now. <laughs> Somebody's playing a prank on me. Why do I talk, chat? Why do I talk? Yes, they're making a second Happy Gilmore movie. Y'all don't follow Shooter McGavin on Twitter. It's so funny. The actor who plays Shooter McGavin just like has a Twitter where he just like tweets in character and like takes pictures in character all the time. It's like kind of weird, honestly, but very funny. Um, here's Overlord of the Mistmores. Um Just sucks. Like, now I can't really play Elspeth. I can, I guess I can, and plus it, right? I've also been following uh, Napoleon Dynamite on TikTok. He just like makes funny TikToks about football and stuff. And it's like so funny, but like he was in this like really popular movie in like the 90s or whatever. And like now he's just some old dude who makes TikToks and like just like, I don't know. It's just so life is so weird, you know? Here's, ah, so there, this is a uh, similar deck we, we played uh, the very start of the stream. It's just kind of a hybridization of a deck that we're playing and the domain deck. And their draw has been much better than all of our draws were. <laughs> That's for damn sure. How bad? I think Happy Gilmore 2 will be watchable, mildly amusing at times, otherwise not worth the the money or time and effort to make it. I highly doubt it'll be, like, reasonably good. All right, so they have talent now. They chose not to use the talent. Oh, sorry, they did. They copied everywhere. So um, we got a parlor here. All right, I mean, we're just going to plus. I think we're just going to fire, a bunch of laid out, fire off a bunch of laid-out arms, unfortunately. And unfortunately, we'll not have Bob Barker, but that's correct, sadly. Aww. We bring our own brews? Yeah, it's all point testing, right? Oh, it's going to be 100%. Hey, hey, remember that thing from the movie that you liked? Here it is again, which is I, I cannot stand. I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate. All right, this sucks, obviously, but whatever. Mono white tokens with Dollmaker Shop? Is that a list that has done well in something or just an idea? That would be pretty funny, actually. If 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 they have Drew Carey play Bob Barker in, in, uh, in Happy Gilmore 2, that's kind of funny. They're going to get lost to Planeswalker, sure. This sucks. It's like our our uh, 
Our draw has, like, been really bad in the matchup, too. Temporary lockdown. <laughs> you son of a... Alright, so we'll fire off our own get lost here response. And I think we're going to kill this Overlord of the Mistmoors. Oh, they're going to draw cards off a talent, though. Do I have to kill a talent? I gotta kill a talent, right? Oh, man. Yeah, my least favorite, like, you know, that's the name of the movie. That's the guy in the movie. That's the thing. I know, I know that. That's familiar to me. I hate it. Hate it. Bushwhack for a If they're just playing the exact deck that we played, like, an hour, like, a few hours ago. All right, so... Oh my god, man. But <laughs> they're but they are drawing much better than we did. Uh alright, so here's Overlord draw Fountain Port. Alright. I mean, this sucks, but whatever, I guess. Alright, I mean. Get a copy a everywhere. Gets a ramp and draw. Level three. That's scary. All right. Well, make a fish. Actually, I'm sorry. I should make. I should have made a treasure. I'm stupid. Whatever. If I draw a card. All right. I'll draw another planes for complete equity here at least. One more planes. Finish it. Yes! My friends, I introduced to you the concept of complaint equity. We're probably going to lose this game anyway, but by drawing horribly worse than possible, we get to complain a little bit more and therefore make it somewhat pleasurable for us in a spot where we're going to lose regardless. All right, there you go. Complaint equity. Somebody please clip that for me and put it in the uh, Discord. I appreciate that. Thanks so much. All right, so... They go big. Uh, they do go big. Bring the Lorans. The Recruiters, probably. Uh, lay down arms. It does kill their Overlords. Part is terrible. Um, Ragnar's Vampires was first built by Matt Sperling. It was a mono-black deck with four Smugglers, Copters, and four Icker Drinkers. Um... Shave a laden arms. And then do I want like Sarah Paragon? These bezels aren't great either. Paragon. Sure, it beats whatever. This is where you really feel the loss of cards like uh of uh Urbrask's Forge, but Oh my god, come on! Help me out here. Alright, Mulligan. Uh, yeah, I mean, we're not gonna go five, so we're gonna ship late on arms. Sanguine Evangelist has a lot of work to do. What's Soul Version good against? It's just flexible, keeps you alive. We're a long game deck, you know, it's just sort of like an unsummon with a little bit of more upside. Imidane's Recruiter. Well, here's Evangelist. What might have you Skrelves Hives on the board for matchups like this, honestly? I always like that card. They have an Overlord again. They don't have the Overlord. Wow. All right. Well, let's jam. Battle Cry. All right. We're going to cast Talent. They might kill it or kill the Bat in response or something. But, like, we need to do things. We can't just do nothing here. So, try and copy the Bat. See what happens. They'll probably kill it in response. But... Sure, that's fine too. Get lost, make some maps. Uh, we can line up for a, uh, a train troops next turn, maybe. Mountain. Uh, Scape says, hey, Jam, I never played Paper Magic, so I'm being curious as to how you go through a game as if your opponent was in Paper Magic. I watched PTM confused. What do you mean? I don't understand your question. I'm sorry, my friend. Uh, all right. We're just going to train troops here, right? Let's attack. They'll probably block a one or both. Sure, it's fine. So get a bat. 
train troops. They go. We have no red yet. We can make a treasure, but I think just uh, we're we're the beat down here, unfortunately. So. They're not really domain. This is more of just like a, a Naya like ramp tokens deck. Alright. Come on, Moran. Help me out here. Let's make use of those maps they gave us. Planes. Planes. Okay. I don't clip that uh you didn't think that's Overlord again. Okay. They have a three three incubator. I mean, we're just playing a new Overlord and a new Loran anyway, so let's attack. Got him! Alright, so land. Loran number two. Definitely think that uh, main deck enchantment removal is uh, reasonable. Is Cassie a nap in Mama? He's napping? Inconceivable! Wow. That's why I'm working. I'm as much work as Wow. Usually Cassie won't go to sleep for for Nicole because he wants he just wants to nurse. So usually I'm the I'm the I'm the bed person, so I put him down for his naps in bedtime, but obviously I'm sure I can't do that, so. Wow, what a sick turn six. Uh talent into forge, the stones. They attack with everything. That's actually, I think, a really bad attack. I think this is a really uh clear misassignment of role. Like, we're the beatdown. We have a pretty good board in play. If I were to rip a red source here, and just, I, would, I might just get I me mean, out and just kill them, but like, I think this is great for us. So, I think not leaving back some blockers here is kind of insane. Once you just, they've also just assembled their engine too. Um, Fountain Port costs five mana to make a red. Does Imidane kill them here? All right, five treasure Imidane. That is. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. We're too short of killing them, which is pretty insane, actually. But uh, all right, let's just attack, and we can make a fish next turn and recruiter, which is kind of cool. So let's jam, battle cry in for a huge chunk. Say go, intending on get losting something. Not sure what yet. We can make a fish and a thing. No, we're one short of that, actually. We can make two fish, actually. Make two fish in the image veins. That works pretty, pretty cool, too. Yeah, like, right now, they have total inevit inevitability. There's no reason to try and get this game over with. The longer, as we saw in our last match, right, when we had inevitability, we wanted the game to go as long as humanly possible, and that's what they want, too. So they're going to attack, sure. Uh, why are we not playing Overlord? Bezza keeps you alive a lot better. Um, Alright, so... I'm gonna try and copy their 2-1. Sure. Now they have more blockers, which is bad for us, but... And Overlord. Okay, so they have three blockers. Okay. Uh, what in the game next turn seems... I mean, if we go fish, fish, untap, recruiter. Can I recruiter and get lost? No, right? It's four, three, and we're one short. If they have a binding, we're dead. It can't be binding. Um, I'm going to draw. All players draw. Another land. Okay. All right, make a fish. Fish. Make a fish. Draw, get lost. So, six mana as a treasure. One, two. Oh, now we do have enough, actually. Okay. All 
Alright, well, they keep, they keep getting priority. They have a binding we lose, obviously, but... Yeah, alright, sure. Alright, I mean, sure. What are you gonna do? Like, our attack is now for not even close to enough. Yeah, that sucks. Attack with everything. Get lost to Overlord. They draw a card. Block two biggest things. Take six. Yeah, alright. Tough matchup. Uh, their draws were pretty good, too. Um, yeah. Uh, I mean, this is good. Good sideboard card. Unfortunately, if we had just naturally drawn a red, we have won this game. I would have an extra token. Eh, probably not, honestly. They kind of just had it all. So... Six. I mean, get lost in the binding, like... What does that do for us in... It doesn't do anything for us, for us this turn. And then, like... Neck emerged dead anyway, so that's fine. Alright, yeah, so that, that's fine. I mean, sure. Is it it is. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm so stupid. I just totally forgot. Uh, right. Whoops, whoopsie. You get lost the binding, responsive trigger, the thing will get exiled. I, I, I... You're right. I just have a headache. You got me. I screwed up. I battle cry... They have an extra blocker. We still don't win, though. Like, that extra um, that extra power boost does not mitigate the blocker. So, you're right, though. Totally correct. I'm actually going to mark that down as a thing to mention in a, in a TikTok. Uh, okay. Yeah, my bad. Battle Cry was, like, four extra points or five extra points of damage, but they had an extra blocker to stop, like, three or four of that damage. So, like... I don't think it mattered at all. Uh, like you're, you have to, you have to add the blocker back in because I killed the blocker. Oh, it's an attacker too. That's true. Um, was it exactly lethal? All right, I'm gonna eat then. Whatever. Sure, I screwed up. Uh, that's fine. Oh, hand of the week. That's good. Um, that's fair. Uh, all right, so it's okay. Not great, but fine. Yes, uh, Jesse Hampton is in the uh, Vintage Cube thing, right? Mirix Deep Cavern Bat. Okay. So blue-black, like, tempo-y stuff should be... I don't know if it's good or bad for us, honestly. It's exactly nine. Listen, you're trying to say I punted? Is that what you're trying to say? I would never. I would never. Ever. Ever punt. Never. Me? No way, no how. Alright, they have a blue mana and a colorless mana. And an underground river, sure. Take a damage. Deep Cavern Bat number two. It's fine. Take the Evangelist. So they're just a soul partition. I mean, sure. This is like not ideal, but whatever. Lay on arms obviously much better here than it is against uh, against domain or whatever that deck was, you know. Deep cavern bat number three has come to town. I ain't doing much else though, so they take the Evangelist again. Do we think they have a counter spell? That is so I could just partition this. It's kinda of fine, honestly. Just cast the Evangelist or Elspeth. They probably have a counter spell too. It's probably a soft counter counter speed too. Making them play four for, pay four for a bat is pretty good against uh, the soft counters, so I'll do this. Alright, I'm gonna cast Elspeth, probably get countered. It does not. Wow. Okay. Do they have a way to kill it? Cut down? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. 
Soul Partition is a bad card. Change my mind. It's not a good card. Uh, it is cute with Avid Interrupter. That's true. But it's not a great card. You're right. You're you're right. When you're right, you're right. We draw land. Okay, well. I mean, we can Soul Partition the Bat again. And just cast this guy. That's kind of fine, actually, too. All right, sure. Do it again. Cast the Evangelist. Say go. And now we have our fountain port engine online. Schism. Draw it. Okay. Um. There are currently no non-land permanent cards in my graveyard. Mana value three or less. That's kind of a thing. Um. This is fine. Just like make a token, attack for one in the air, play a land, so go. We, uh, we'll block and sack with Fountain Port. We could just, like, Fountain Port now, but, like, I could just wait. They have this bat, too. If you draw a card, we can't cast and don't want to cast. It's pretty annoying, so. Here comes the Restless Reef. Big time attack. Decking me is certainly a viable option, so. They both attack Elspeth. They're going to make me mill cards, making the ultimate on all of, all of this better. So mill four, land, 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 innocence. That's actually pretty sick. All it returns non-lands? Come on, Elspeth, what are you doing? All right, let's draw a card. Um, could block and kill this land, but I don't think we need to do that, honestly. I'm just going to block like this. Just block and sack, take two, whatever. The ultimate on Elspeth is not particularly uh, exciting, and I'm trying to go up on it anyway, so do this. Sack token, draw a card. We get lucky and draw a rule spell here. Okay. Put counters on an evangelist. If they kill it, response is pretty bad. They have a mana up, you know? Yeah, we love drawing lands. Uh, all right. Well, if I go to put a counter on an evangelist and they just kill it, response is pretty bad. Um, they still have a reef. We have a possible token. Getting in for like four here is like, it's kind of fine. Um, Now we have more life if they're getting tokens, which I guess is fine. Better than drawing cards, so. End step. See? If I go if I tried to plus it, it would have killed it. Poor predictable bar. Always takes rock. Alright, so draw a card. We draw a Beza. Uh, we're currently ahead on a lot of metrics right now, but it's fun. If they have a removal spell, they can kill Elspeth, but that would be the end of everything they have, so. Wow. Interesting. Choosing to attack me to, to mix up the attacks, so only four to Elspeth. It's kind of weird. Um, I keep it around. A million more cards for possible. All spells, though. All spells, unfortunately. No, no ultimate for Elspeth. All right, so we draw Sunfall. Sunfall is not great on this board. Um, now we're more inclined to put the counters on. They say they had a kill spell, they would use it already. So oh, okay, that's interesting. So preacher has a condition where it has to attack a player for the vampire token trigger, but not for the card draw trigger, which is really weird, actually, how you think about it. That's fair. Planeswalkers has not been a major thing in standard for a while, so... Okay, uh, I think I'm going to just do the angel thing here, make it a good blocker. Wow, I'm getting tide binder. Okay, so they're gonna tide binder. Now I get to uh, sack a thing in Beza. 
So it's sack this and draw a card. And then Beza and make tokens. And I'm feeling pretty good about life right now. Here comes Breacher. They will make a token. I think I'm pretty happy to block here. Could block with Evangelist and two tokens, but I think it's fine. I want to keep the board messy and wide. Here comes Deep Cavern Bat, takes Sunfall, no problem. We have our Fountain Port engine online, which is great. And uh, overall feeling pretty good about things. Sunken Citadel, we could go for the Angel on the Evangelist now, um, which would make you be able to block Key Cavern, Deep Cavern Bat or the Reef. They have a Mirix going also. Uh, we have Fish. Fountain Port, seven mana, we can make a fish. Make two fish, I guess, right? Sure. Uh, oh, I can't use this. Right. Uh, forgot. Uh, okay. Sure. Just say go. Buckle up, folks. If you're gonna play this deck, you gotta play fast. If you wanna be dumb, you gotta be tough. We have 34 cards in our deck. Okay. I like this play a lot. Uh, even though the Planeswalker is currently not doing anything, I think attacking is a wise move. Um, all right. I'm going to block and just kill this thing. They drew exactly a kill spell, so be it. And make a token. And then we're going to make... They just did not make a token in step. They have another... Oh, it's a, it's a slurs, never mind. All right, make a fish. I think it's fish, fish. I'm not going to draw. Psychic token and draw. I have very few blockers. Eh, draw a card. Draw a card. Buckle up. Get your fountain ports, folks. Get your fountain pots here. Oh my god. Oh, it's laser healing! Oh my god! My god, don't do this! Please, don't do this! Get up, get up, get up, don't do it! Man, don't do it! 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 Don't do these Elspeth Smites are pretty nice, actually. Just, like, cheap removal spells to deal with their crap. Can't stop the land of the 2-4, but I want a few of them, I think. A few of these. Uh, I think I should have, like, a Sunfall or two, honestly. I should have a Loran. Uh, Soul Partition and Get Lost. This is going to be a long, grindy game, and giving them resources kind of sucks. Like the Paragon. This Smites are just better. I uh, really hate Get Lost in matchups like this. I think it's mid-range decks. Like, hate it. Um, they're going to have a lot of counter spells. Sunfall is not going to be very reliable, I don't think. I think you want a few, but not, I, don't want, I don't want it to be Sunfall or no other options. Bane Slayer, eh. I think this is fine. Parlors. A more elegant land for a more elegant age. Nerd! Want to mulligan six? Sure. Parlor Ahoy. Top card planes. Keep it. We have tap land smite. Sorry, I'm attacking. Never mind. Just saying stuff. Just saying things. Um, Carrot Cake can come after. I want to kind of cast Innocence, I think. They have smite for a flash creature. Land 5 has value. I'm just going to keep it, I think. Making land out is pretty important. So here's Mastermind, no problem. Smite ya. Smite's not bad. You know, the white lightning bolt. 
deep cavern bat. Bring it on. Bring it on. I imagine they can take the innocence here. Be innocent. Free from sin. Seems hard to take a card that's not innocence. Uh, it's just a card I can cast next turn. It's the hardest card to deal with. So, like, it would seem odd to me to not take it. They take the carrot cake. What can they have that can deal with this? Maybe they have a uh, anoint with procession or anoint with whatever card. It's fine, I guess. They got it. They got it, you know. They spend two mana on that. I get to play a planeswalker, hopefully. Spyglass Siren. Nothing. I guess they have a counter for the Archangel Elspeth. Um, we... Yeah, I mean, like, Bez is actually terrible right now. We're actually equal on all metrics, so... It could be a negate, so playing a creature could be better. But... They almost certainly have a counter spell here. If they don't use it... I can also just make a token, make a fish, right? Draw a card on my thing. Let's just do that. Let's attack. Let's see what happens. If they block... They don't block, cool. Yeah, I was got found port on their turn. No reason to do it on my now my turn. They just killed us in response. So, so they go. They waste two mana. Awesome. I guess if they were to play a Gix or like a Curiosity thing here, that would suck. But find a land. And during Curiosity is like kind of a messed up card. This card's good. Enduring Innocence, big fan. Uh, are we scared of Wandering Emperor? What's what's going on here, man? Yeah? Thoughts about Jets fire their head coach? I'm fine with it. Definitely didn't look like him and Aaron Rodgers getting along very well, and the team's not doing very well, so whatever, you know. I think they had uh, some pretty high ex expectations for this year, so. All right, so make a fish. Will they kill my guy in response? That's actually, it has to be anoint, so. Love it. Caretaker's talent, cool. Sanguine evangelist, okay. Love to do multiple things in a turn here if possible, but attack. We managed to get them to waste two mana last turn, which is kind of awesome. Uh, and we're gaining light back from their attacks too. I mean, the Vandals is good here, right? We play we play around uh, a counter pay two card. They want to kill it, cool. If they don't kill it, cool. Can't negate it. Yeah, sure. I'm in. Rodgers is the problem. If Aaron Rodgers isn't good, the Jets can't win. So, who's up who's my quarterback, you know? Like, oh, no, mastermind. All right, so they draw a card, too. We draw a laydown arms. That's a little awkward, but whatever. So they go. And now our board's actually better than theirs is, which is kind of cool. I mean, their clock is just embarrassing. Like, there's no pressure. Uh, kind of awesome for us. We're just going to Leroy here, I think. Just keep applying pressure. And then... You might just walk a best into a counter spell. I don't even know. I should attack. Whatever. It's a lot of damage. You know? Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. They're going to block the Innocence. That's fine. Weird game, yeah. We haven't given I mean, there could just be like multiple counter spells, like two mana, you know, whatever quenches, um, phantom interferences. Maybe we just haven't given them a chance to use them yet. But they also keep leaving them up too, so they're gonna tide binder. Ooh. That's pretty good. So they're gonna tide binder the return trigger on enduring innocence. That's kind of a banger. Uh that being said, we get to resolve a threat now, so uh, if I play Elspeth, 
there's a decent chance it dies. Paragon, I want to get some value off of. I guess it forces them to have a Doomblade. Uh, and then Beza doesn't do anything. So, all right, let's go, let's go, let's go for Broke here. In theory, they should have bored out some of their, their go for the throats because, like, we're a more, like, tokeny deck. So. So, no exile, still in the graveyard. Like, <laughs> with, with Karn on top of it. <laughs> All right, sick. Uh, cool match. All right, so you finally had a winning, winning record with the deck, which is cool. Uh, this deck's very good. It's like, what a challenge. Uh, we saw the bad matchup, you know, which I think is like, you know, Overlord Beans binding decks, whether they're domain or like domain adjacent decks. Uh, they kind of go over the top of this deck. This deck, honestly, if you play it in a standard over the last like four years, is very similar to other decks playing late on arms. Uh, it's very good against creature decks. It's pretty good against mid-range decks. Pretty bad against like over the top combo or ramp decks. And that's sort of what it is, you know? So, um... But yeah, definitely a good deck for sure. Definitely wanted to be in the, to be in the gauntlet for the uh, testing process for Worlds. And if you like decks like this, give it a shot. All right, so more to play on stream. You do folks love you. Like, comment, subscribe, and peace.